It's in the game. All right, coming up next, we get to this featherweight clash between Bruce Lee and Diego Sanchez. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, D. And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep the opponent off of him. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice catch. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Nice kick. 
three minutes in our opening round. Got clipped with the right hand. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to him. He is finding the target with everything he throws. Mixing it up beautifully. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Counters with the right hand. length it's another thing to use it and he does it as well as anyone nice kick there by Sanchez well he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field he's being busy but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks body kick now by Sanchez oh beautiful kick to the body there and he just left himself wide open for that strike very vulnerable by leaning in keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Nice loop and punch. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Lee. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over. Both fighters had their moments, but you see the cut on the eyebrow, and that is not getting any better, ladies and gentlemen. That is getting worse. It continues to open up. The blood is trickling down into the eye. Certainly, if you're gonna have a cut, that is not the ideal location. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, straight right. Sanchez gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Effective strike there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. It's blocked. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Leg Back kick. and forth we go. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Sanchez gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. How about that shin? Look at the turnover in that kick. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Back to the feet. Sanchez gets the tie clinch here. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shot. Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out.
Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Sanchez. Oh, beautiful level change. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield to try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Real sneaky body kick. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Nice punch lands over the top. Sanchez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Right on the button. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, blocks the shot. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, bro, right now he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Out of range with that one. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said...